let us now look at the most important part of this topic that is trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios are simply the ratio of different sides of a right angle triangle with respect to the acute angle so here we simply consider two of the sides of a right angle triangle and get the ratio between them and based on the different sides that we consider we get different types of trigonometric ratios so let's understand what are the different ratios or trigonometric ratios that we have here here we have a right angle triangle ABC which has got a right angle at vertex A right at point A. Now we know that the side which is opposite to the right angle is known as hypotenuse which is denoted by small h here right. So the side opposite to the right angle A is hypotenuse h and the initial line or the base of the triangle here is denoted by B right. So AB is the base and BC the hypotenuse and then there is a perpendicular line to the base which is denoted by small p. All right. So AC is the perpendicular, AB is the base and BC is the hypotenuse. So these are the three different sides of the right angle triangle, right? The base, perpendicular and the hypotenuse. And here we have an angle theta made at the vertex P, right? So the angle here is theta at the vertex P. Now with respect to this angle theta, we are going to consider the different trigonometric ratios. All right. Now if you observe the side which is opposite to theta, angle theta is the perpendicular P, right? So what is opposite to theta? Perpendicular P. What is adjacent to theta? It is the base P, all right? And this is known as hypotenuse. So with respect to theta, we have got an opposite side, an adjacent side and the hypotenuse, all right? With respect to the right angle, we can consider there is a base B, perpendicular P and hypotenuse H. Now let's see what are the different trigonometric ratios that we get here uh, with respect to the different sides. The first one here is sine theta, right? Sine theta. Sine theta is the ratio of opposite side to the hypotenuse, right? So sine theta is equal to opposite side, which is P by hypotenuse, right? So P is to H or we can say P by H. This is sine theta. Next is cosine theta, which is in short known as cos theta, right? What is cos theta? Now this is the ratio of adjacent side to the hypotenuse, right? Sine theta was opposite side that is P to the hypotenuse H but cosine theta or cos theta is the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So adjacent side here is B to the hypotenuse H right. So these are nothing but ratios right. So if you observe here in trigonometry it's all about relationship between angles. Theta is the angle right. Angle and the different sides of the triangle right. Next one is tan theta. Tan theta or tangent of theta right. Tan theta is the ratio between opposite side and adjacent side. So opposite side is perpendicular P, adjacent side is the base B. So this is P by H. Sorry P by B. The base is B. P by B. Next comes cot theta, right? Cot theta. What is cot theta? Cot theta is the ratio of adjacent side to the opposite side. So the adjacent side is B and the opposite side is P. Next we have uh, secant theta. What is secant theta? Secant theta is the ratio between hypotenuse and the adjacent side. So with respect to theta, the hypotenuse H and the adjacent side is B. So H by B. H by B. And the last one is cosecant theta, right? Cosecant theta, which is the ratio between hypotenuse to the opposite side, right? So hypotenuse is H and the opposite side to theta is P. So this is H by H by P. So these are the six different trigonometric ratios that we have. Sine theta is opposite side by hypotenuse. Cos theta, adjacent side by hypotenuse. Tan theta, opposite side by adjacent side. Cot theta is adjacent side by opposite side. Secant theta is hypotenuse by adjacent side and cosecant theta is hypotenuse by the opposite side. All right. Now again within these different trigonometric ratios we have some important relations to be observed. For example look at sin theta P by H and cosecant theta is H by P. So sin theta is the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse whereas cosecant theta is the ratio of hypotenuse to opposite. So what do we see? Sin theta and cosecant theta are reciprocals, right? They are reciprocals to each other. So we can say sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosecant theta, all right? If you take 1 by P by H or 1 by H by P, we get P by H, all right? Likewise, cos theta and secant theta are reciprocals of each other, right? Cos theta is B by H, whereas secant theta is H by B. So we can say cos theta is equal to 1 by secant theta. Likewise, with respect to secant theta, we can say this is 1 by cos theta, right? And cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta. 
again if you look at tan theta and cot theta these are reciprocals to each other tan theta is p by b cot theta is b by b so we can say tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta or cot theta is 1 by tan theta moreover if you look at it tan theta is the ratio of sin theta to cos theta right if we take sin theta by cos theta what do we get sin theta by cos theta right sin theta by cos theta so p by h by b by h so h and h in the denominators get cancelled what am i left with p by b p by b which is tan theta likewise cot theta since cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta we have to take reciprocal of sin theta by cos theta so this can be taken as cos theta by sin theta so these are the relationship within the different trigonometric ratios sin and cosecant these are reciprocals to each other right cos theta and secant theta these are also reciprocals of each other and tan and cot are also reciprocals of each other so clearly what do we understand from this sin theta equals to 1 by cosecant theta which means sin theta into cosecant theta will be equal to 1 right so there's another important relationship that we get here sin theta into cosecant theta equals to 1 right likewise cos theta is 1 by secant theta so we can say cos theta into secant theta is equal to 1 whatever be the angle right whatever be the angle theta acute angle theta cos theta into secant theta will be equal to 1 likewise sin theta into cosecant theta for any angle will be equal to 1 and tan theta into cot theta will be equal to 1 so uh, the other identity here is tan theta into cot theta equals to 1 right so that's about the different types of trigonometric ratios we have six different ratios here out of which you know there are three pairs pairs of reciprocals right sine and cosecant cos and secant tan and cot so it's very important and essential that you learn about all these trigonometric ratios by heart